Welcome to NWA Wrestling Fans! My name is Connor Whitty, and we are here live at the Hammerstein Ballroom in New York City with new NAW North! We're starting off with this man, a luchador who was trained by a distant relative of his known as L. Lightning. Most known for his, well, lightning quick speed. That's why he's called L. Lightning. He's such a lightning fast competitor, if you Take your eyes off him for a minute, you won't know what the hell hit you. L Lightning, not much is known about L Lightning other than the fact that he was trained by a distant relative his, who, uh, the original L Lightning sadly passed away for reasons that have not been made clear to this day still. But here's a man with less of a crazy backstory. We have X Factor Adam Bailey. In his home promotion, Rise Pro Wrestling, Adam Bailey, Adam Bailey, he betrayed his tag team partner. He was part of a tag team called High Octane, and before he backstabbed his partner and became the X Factor that you see before you. He didn't start out as the X Factor. He became the X Factor after he backstabbed his tag team partner Anthony Drew. And oh, well, he, well, Adam Bailey, he has a bonding point with the holy trinity of Rise Pro Wrestling, the three founders, and that is he was trained by Johnny Rods in WUW. Johnny Rods has trained some of the toughest men in the business. He's trained Taz. He's trained the Dudley Boys. He's trained. You know, he's trained Tommy Dreamer. And now, now we see another one of his students, X Factor, Adam Bailey. Adam Bailey in the corner. Prefer trying to get a clean break. Will we have a. No, of course we won't. And Adam Bailey is going to go for a vertical suplex. Oh, 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 no! Unfortunately not! One, there's two, there's no! Just gets that roll up straight from out of nowhere and a drop kick. He did not see that, uh. that counter coming. And, and you kind of can't see anything coming with, uh. a lightning. As this time he lands the vertical suplex. Adam Bailey punching over, over, over. Knee right to the jaw. Oh, insecurity. And oh, what's it doing here? Oh, small package driver! Only a two! An Irish whip. Oh. And reverse Frankensteiner! My god! Oh god, the head and neck of Adam Bailey has to be in a lot of torment right now as it has to close on over the top. My god. <laughs> on Adam Bailey! Oh! X Factor, Adam Bailey took a tumble there. L Lightning did not get all of that. What is he doing? What is he doing? L Lightning, what are you doing? L Lightning, think about this! L Lightning! To be so excited! Through the ropes! This man has gone through the ropes! And he's on the top now! Cross body! No! Adam Bailey catches him in mid air! Drops him on the rope! Good lord! That was an impressive counter. 
Adam Bailey, he has the abdominable stretch, keeping L Lightning grounded. I think that's a good strategy. Because when you're dealing with a high flyer, oh, 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 Skywalker! As his the fingers hook to no! But when you're dealing with a high flyer, the thing you want to do is keep him grounded. Make sure he can't go for the tope suicidas for the cross bodies off the top. But Adam Bailey might be making a mistake here. Oh, dropped onto the floor. Indeed, he is making a mistake. Man on the top and L Lightning showing him how high flying is done. Right for position, only a two. And I, I'm gonna take the time to uh, remind people of the rules here to, to tell people the rule. You have you see, there's a timer. We have a 10 minute time limit, just to, because this is just a taste of things to come. Main shows when New NAW North actually does debut. The matches will be 15 minutes long, and the main event will be, uh, 20. Hang on, hang on, hang on! Oh, I know! Oh, God! And while they're outside the ring, they could brawl until a count of 20. Counts go to 20. Here in New NAW North. Oh, and, oh, what a kick! Sliding kick. What is he going for? Oh, and a drop kick! X after Adam Bailey! X mark! <laughs> Hooks the leg! One, two, three! And X indeed marks the spot! <laughs> As he hits the knee, to score the victory. Very impressive win by X Factor on Bailey showing people what he can do. Heading into the day of New NAW North, I think these matches are more mo important because you're letting the world know what you can do heading into the official premiere of New NAW North. But still, you have to give it up to L Lightning. But in the end, X Factor Adam Bailey was the better man here tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go to a quick commercial break. We'll be right back after the break. We are back here at New NAW North in the Hammerstein Ballroom as uh, these two men, uh, as we're gonna see one of this new tag team, they to Okada, and does this man have Pikachu on his trunk? Oh my god, this man, I, 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 all I've been told is he really likes Pokemon. Like, a lot. Like, an unhealthy amount. But dear god, man! He has Pikachu on his trunks that you can't see him under his jacket. That's Pikachu! Dear god! Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, 
Here comes Hiro Suzuki. Hiro Suzuki is a tool part of a classmate in the independent training facility. And Hiro Suzuki <clears throat> came to the independent training facility to learn more of an American style, to adapt to the American style heading into uh, this big opportunity as he originally trained in the Kaintai Dojo. But of course now he's uh, here in the States in New NAW North and uh, he got some valuable training from Joe Omega, Danny Jack, Pop Biff, Andreas and the rest of the independent training facility gang. But well, here are people who, uh, more people who have an international background, but they're from the United Kingdom, British Brutality. Andrew Samuels with the, is the blonde, Brutus Adams is the brunette. And these two, they practice what they preach, British Brutality. They're very hard hitting. They don't care about anything flashy. They just want to hurt their opponent. They want. Uh, the bonus for them is the scream. But. And the, and the pain. The absolute pain that these people. That they. Uh, their opponents go through. That's what they crave. Bell's been sounded. Oh! He strike right to the arm. Oh, Lindsay Lariat did not get connect though. They to Okada with a chop! I wish whip. Andrew Samuels always oh, misses. Oh, what a kick! By Zayto Okada! The tag's been made. Double hip toss. Kick on both sides. And another kick. A hero Suzuki. Oh, what a punt. And he's hyping up the fans. Oh. Adams. Oh, good God. Oh, and an uppercut! Sent right into the barricade. And... Oh, rammed! Oh, God! Like a damn bull. And Andrew Samuels... Drops the knee. Drops him on the knee, I should say. A knee to the arm again. And to Larry at the back of the head. This time it connects. This time it does connect. What does he have going for here? Oh, drop right on the right on the apron. They to Okada! Oh! Oh God! And what is he doing? Stomp to the arm! Oh God! And Andrew Samuels. That was a submission locked in, more like a hole. Yeah, that's the hold applied. Wrenching on the stomach with his legs. Wrapped around tightly like a vice. Tag's been made. Oh, oh. And this. And the German. They call that. 
exactly what you think they call that. British brutality. British brutality is an old lifestyle for them. It's their finisher name, it's their tag name, and that gets them the victory here tonight. The British brutality, that that fighting style, that aggressive style, isn't just, you know, a wrestling style, I should say. It's more of a lifestyle for them. You know, they love nothing more than to dish out some British brutality as Andrew Samuels, Brutus Adams, pick up the victory here tonight. Impressive win by these two, and if we're going to have a new NAW North Tag Team Division, I think these two would be at the top of the list of Tag Team Champions. Well, moving on, it is me! Event time! As first off, we have, I mentioned these three earlier, one of the, the Holy Trinity of Rise Pro Wrestling. This is one of them, Diamond Dean Masters. He formed that promotion with Blake Thunder and uh, Angelo Showtime. And, uh, of course, after uh, Blake Thunder left, things kind of just went downhill for that promotion until eventually Danny Jackpot bought it and transferred all the talent to new NAW North. Here at the Hammerstein Ballroom. Dean Masters. He's very inspired by DDP. He also trained under Johnny Rods alongside Blake Thunder. He, uh, you know, he, he can, has multiple variations of the cutter that he could hit you with. And, uh, and he, you know, he's very inspired by DDP. He's very much like DDP. But here's a man who's not like anybody we know of. John Bates. Man is a convicted felon. And you can see the heavy police force. I don't know what the hell he did. But that's quite a heavy police force. And I've not been made aware as to why they, why he's allowed to wrestle if he's so bad that he needs a heavy police force like this. But John Bates, he loves, he, like British Brutality before him, he loves to hurt people. Except maybe in a more intense way. John Bates loves, you know, his strength is outside brawl. That's his strength. You know, fighting on the outside, using chair shots. He's known to have brawls on the outside. He's known to beat the hell out of people with a steel chair, too. And... John Bates was trained by uh, Sean Dynasty in the independent training facility. Different IETF people were trained by uh, different wrestlers in the independent training facility. Such as Amir Barnes, trained by Biff Andreas. Was I like to call him Buff Andy. That's just me. But here we go. Diamond D Masters, John Bates, main event time! And back into the corner. We're gonna get a clean break, no we're not! Of course we weren't gonna get a clean break. John Bates doesn't do clean breaks. And just the pure aggression. But we're seeing the aggression of uh, John Bates, how, you know, 
John Bates is an aggressive dude. Oh God, he hit his knee on the buckle, on the buckle pad, I should say. He has him up on his shoulders. Gonna go for a cutter? No. Oh no, John Bates escapes. Well, as I said, many different ways to hit the cutter, but John Bates saw that one coming. Oh my god, and the- oh, wait. John- oh, John Bates got dropped with a snap suplex. One, two, there's- no! Look at the count of two. Oh, god! One, there's two, there's no! Vicious uppercut caught him as it caught him. Use his own momentum against him. Smart move by John Bates. And he hits a slam. These two men are just trying to pin each other. They know they only got ten minutes. They actually have eight remaining minutes to win this. And with men like this, I don't think ten minutes is going to be enough. Drop some red on the rope. And he clubs him on the back. Pulled into a clothesline. Holy fuck, a clothesline! Finally said it. Oh! Doctor Team Masters drops the knee. Around the chest area. Oh, is he gonna- Oh, no. Oh, God. He was about to go for the cutter. He was about to catch him off guard with the cutter. But John Bates taking control of the match. The Day Masters. Oh, get dropped with a Russian leg sweep. Drilled. He is drilled into the mat with that DDT by the head. Oh no! Look at the two. Only gets a two. Oh, he's pounding away on him. Close it over the top! <laughs> Hold up. And, oh no, they're on the outside now. John Bates, this is his specialty. He loves to fight on the outside, and he's in his comfort zone. He is in his comfort zone, and Dean Masters is wrestling. He's fighting John Bates' type of fight. And that's not something you want to do. You don't want to play to the strengths of your opponent. You want to play to, play to your own strengths. But Dean Masters, I don't think he seems to realize this quite yet. We have a count of six. Remember, count outs go to 20. Well, they have plenty of time to fight on the outside. And which is good news for John Bates. Because D Masters does not seem to want to get into the ring anytime soon. He wants to continue fighting. And he wants to continue being on the outside. Continue playing the strength of John Bates. John Bates! He's in the zone! He's in his comfort zone on the outside. Count of 12. And it's only a count of 12. You see that police officer at ringside. Just in heavy armor. Heavy gear. So John Bates must be dangerous if that guy's wearing such heavy gear. Cutter! A little taste of his own medicine! Cover! He has the pen! Two! No! He does not use the ropes, instead he decides to power out. I'm not sure if that was a wise idea. And he went going for the close line. No, Team Masters reverses. No, now! John Bates reverses. A reversal of a reversal. He's dropped! Under the guardrail. Sent into the apron. Dean Masters again, he's playing to the strengths of John Bates. 
I'm not sure how wise this is. Oni realizes that wasn't wise either. He realized it. I just wish he would have realized that sooner. He's going for a neck break off the top. No! He doesn't get all of it. He gets enough to bring down John Bates, but not all of it. Not enough to at least make the move effective. Off the top of the blockbuster! That one was effective! Hook in the leg! One! Two! No! We have three minutes remaining. On the clock. As in, no! Oh, again! John Bates! What the hell is this? Oh! There's one, two, no! And John Bates calls that the night at Bates Motel. What? The night at Bates Motel 2.0, you could say. Stomp on the chest. Because the original night at Bates... The original night at Bates Motel was more of an F5. This one was... I have no idea what the hell that was. Oh, oh he has a chair. He has a chair. Oh, and the officer knocking down the chair. He's talking to John Bates, telling him not to do it. Dean Masters getting precious recovery time. Oh, and uh. Oh, hey, hey! Oh! He's looking for anything he could use as a weapon. Oh. Now they're fighting on the outside again. Oh, spear on the apron! Still trying to look for something to use. He doesn't care if he gets disqualified. He doesn't care. Oh, the officer had, had no choice but to let him in. He went too fast. Oh, and the referee now! Referee! Taking the chair away from him! I'm oh, D-Masters! Roll up! Roll up! There's one! There's two! There's... Oh, no, 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 no! Job it's One! Two! No! Oh! And an elbow strike to the jaw! Trying to crack it. Forearm strike. And this has just evolved into a striking battle. Neckbreaker. Irish whip. Oh! Clothesline with force! He put a force behind that, uh, clothesline. And he hits! He hits the Russian light sweep. I'm in the top of the rope! What a splash! Impressive splash by, uh, Diamond Dean Masters! Oh, it has the cross race! Cross race! Whoa, 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 wait! Wait! Five! Four jump is gonna top three! Two! One! We have the time limit draw, ladies and gentlemen! But the people are showing their appreciation as we have a time limit draw! And D Master trying to be a good sport. And oh, John Bates on the sucker punch! That was despicable! Ladies and gentlemen, we're running out of time. I've been Connor Woody here from New NAW North. Until next time.